Okay, it's universally accepted that the purest form of English is spoken in a place called Newcastle, which is in the northeast of England in the UK. Uh, unfortunately, most people in England or elsewhere are not intelligent enough to understand this form of English, so we're left with a communications problem. So the latest tool for Magpie is trying to solve this problem. So we've used the latest API from OpenAI, which, which also made ChatGPT. It's called Whisper. It converts voice to text. We're then going to use uh, GPT to query this entire product to get the answer to the question. Uh, so it uses anything in this product, uh, cancellations and inclusions, exclusions, FAQs. We then get the response back, convert that back to audio, and then spit out the audio. So let's do a, a quick test just to make sure it's working. How long is this tour? Uh, that was not in a Newcastle accent. That was in a more plain English accent. The tour duration is three hours. Okay, so just query the entire product. So now let's try that in a more of a, a Newcastle accent. Okay, then. All right, Henny, I just want to get on this tour later with me family. So it's going to be me and the wifey and two little ones. Like the kids are going to be eight and 12. How much is that going to cost us? And does it include beer recommendations? Okay, so let's see how it does with that. Okay, it's got the Newcastle accent bit at the front. Now it's searching all that. So that's a few questions in one. Hopefully it'll get that we've asked just a couple of questions. Um, how much is it? We've got the kids' ages. The cost for the Rome Street food tour with pizza making for your family of four with children aged 8 and 12 would be Euro 446, Euro 89 per adult, and Euro 84 per child. This tour includes tastings of various traditional Roman street food, as well as a personalized beer recommendation and a pizza making class at a local pizzeria. Please note that gratuities and hotel transportation are not included. Okay, that was pretty good. A little bit over friendly, but that was a fantastic um, answer to my to my question. So the other thing we're doing at Magpie is we're we're not sure where we're going with this with this answer bot, this FAQ bot. But we are working quite deeply now with reviews and FAQs. So we're creating a lot of FAQs as this fact layer that I speak about. So previously, when, you, when you're building FAQs, you might want five, maybe 10 to display on your website. But anything more than that, nobody's going to read it. But now we need this fact layer. We need this layer of information that we can query with tools like this or it could be a front desk agent, it could be a, a travel agent, it could be anybody asking questions about your tour, or it might be a customer asking directly on your website. So we're generating these FAQs so you can constantly update your fact, uh, your fact layer and just insert any old FAQs that you may not normally want to display on your site. Maybe there's a question, you know, when I, when I get to the Coliseum, how far is the bathroom? It's not something you want to display on your website, but it's something that people ask maybe a couple of times a week that's worth just putting down somewhere so it can be queried. And this is going to be something which we're going to need in the future. So I'll do a different demo on that, just show how that's working. But that's all for now. Appreciate you listening. Thanks.